for my year. And yes, Mr. Popata is here. Yes, he is here. Welcome to you. Mr. Chopra is uh, still on the way, I assume, I understand. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's a long way here, this is a, and the distance is quite far from his office, in fact. So I think we can start in another two minutes. And the presentations, I hope all the presentations who, who of us are present here are presented to this uh, person who is sitting there on the machine. And, and I request all the presentations to be made on the mic itself so that we can hear, you know, what it is audible to all of us. And I pass on the mic to Mr. Sanjeev Sharma. You can start with, with your brief comments, remarks, sort of anything. Good morning, everybody. Of course, I can see very few people here, very few people here. I'm sure it's a very slightly cold morning. And uh, with Delhi's traffic, you will be finding it difficult to reach on time. I'm sure many people will join in. Um, it's a very... Uh, uh, today's... Uh, subject that we are here on is uh, e-business, agriculture and livelihood. Farmers, as we all know, they form the backbone of our economy. And reaching through the farmers with the best of the technology practices, the best of the practices, best of the farming practices, and also taking the latest information to them is a real big challenge. Knowing it pretty well that now our farmers, they are really looking up in a big way. They are looking up for inputs. But a bigger challenge also lies in those farmers who are really not geared up to the technological process and then slowly bringing them in into the technological fold. I'm glad here that uh, we have one of the Sarpanches of, I've been told, uh, of the villages of having one of the highest GDP in India. Uh, that is uh, uh, Mr. Popat Rao Pawar. I would request him to introduce himself and after that we can go ahead with the presentations one by one. Thank you. Shubh Shaka. I'm in Maharashtra, Kiamad Nagar district. Ture Bajar Naam Ka Jo Gao Hai. से 20 साल से सरपंच करके काम करता हूं बेसिक वर्क हमारा वाटर से डेवलपमेंट का है क्योंकि रेनफ्री एरिया में ये गांव होता है लो रेनफॉल जोन है करके 100% फैमिली माइग्रेट होती थी और जब प्रयास पंचायत की लीडरशिप है डिसीजन ग्राम सभा से है और इसके कारण गांव में जो आज ऐसे कि साउथ अफ्रीकन बर्ड्स माइग्रेट होकर हमारे गांव में आते एक वक्त ऐसा था कि खाने को रोटी नहीं और रोजगार नहीं और अभी नरे गांव में एक भी जॉब कार्ड की जरूरत नहीं साई गांव में क्योंकि बेसिकली डेवलपमेंट और फंडिंग सोर्स महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट की एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी स्कीम से ही थी और आज उसे हम एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी स्कीम को ही वाटर शेड लिंक करके और एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन का काफ़ी अच्छा काम हुआ है ग्राउंड वाटर मैनेजमेंट का काफ़ी अच्छा काम हुआ है करके ये प्रॉब्लम खत्म हुआ तो आज मैं महाराष्ट्र स्टेट की एक कमेटी का चेयरमैन हूँ जिसे 100 करोड़ रुपीस का बजट है अभी हर ब्लॉक में एक विलेज इस तरह का मॉडल बनाना है यही प्रोग्राम ऑल ओवर महाराष्ट्र अभी मैं करने जा रहा हूँ थैंक यू थैंक यू मिस्टर कुमार इट्स अ स्लाइड चेंज इन द ऑर्डर बिकॉज some people have not yet reached, so we will be starting first with the Nepal Wireless Project, presentation on the Nepal Wireless Project. Uh, I would request the organizers to introduce the team. Uh, we should here welcome Mr. Mahabir Punj. He is a known figure in the international community for his work, wireless work, and he is a Maxis Award winner for his relentless work in the elite areas of Nepal in putting wireless technologies and connecting the communities in distant regions. So he is here with us and will make his presentations on how the technology has been used to 
They developed a required kind of information and services to the communities in his in various parts of Nepal. Please give him a big hand. Good morning and thank you very much uh, for this opportunity to speak and tell some stories about the parks that we are doing in Nepal. My name is Mahabir Poon and uh, I'm a social worker actually. Uh, and I do many kinds of things in the remote rural areas uh, in different fields like from nature conservation, community development, education, health, in combination tourism, whatever we can work on in the rural areas to help the people. So, I think uh, my issue is a little bit different from what uh, we are going to present here, other you know, presenters are going to present, because the area where I live is, you know, geographically very remote area. There is no road. There was now there is some coverage in some part of the area where we live, you know, there is some mobile communication, mobile reception, but still most of the area where I work has no mobile reception and no road. We have to walk everywhere where we need to go, maybe sometimes 10, 11, 12 days or 2, 3 days of walking is just normal. So because of this, you know, background, you know, we had to build our own wireless network to bring internet and to introduce ICT and ICT related services in the in the rural areas. So we started from 2001 with uh, uh, some of uh, our friends. We just decided why not we, you know, start. Uh, we build a wireless network for communication because. We have started several kind of projects to help the villagers and there was no communication, so it was being very difficult to communicate with each other. Just to send a message from one village to another village, we had to walk, there was no choice. So we started, you know, building wireless first, wireless network for the purpose of, you know, uh, you know communicating with each other through a, a local email and, uh, you know, a voice over phone like that and we have so far we have built many small wireless networks in the remote regions but most of those are in the Himalayas actually in the Himalayan region connecting you know, many villages so you see these arrows there uh, that's how we are connecting the villages so this is another network here just right across the Himalaya you know uh, to connect the villages because these are very remote areas and there is no road and no communication means so first we have to build our own network to bring internet and to bring I know, ICT uh, services in that region. So building this kind of network, so we have also built this, uh, you know, created this uh, simple, very simple you know, home page for the people because most of the people in the region are not well educated. You know, they can read and write, many of them, but they are not well educated. So we have to make everything simple. So you can see here, I mean, the, the, the website, the home page, we have built. People can use it to get, you know, online uh, news and they can use it for, you know, e-pushtakala, you know, some learning materials for children and, you know, there is a... Uh, uh, some other you know, materials for the students, uh, learning materials, and they, they are using it for bulletin board also. You see these uh, three uh, you know, um, bullet uh, and three um, uh, bullet there with this uh, red circle, I mean, hot bazaar and you know, hotel booking and virtual ATM machine. That those are the you know, uh, e-commerce activities we have started. And the people can also, you know, put uh, their local products as an advertisement uh, there uh, on this uh, you know, local website. 
and there, there is a link, uh, a different you know, link to different uh, materials that to, that are useful for the villages. So, uh, so we are not, it's not only in you know e-commerce. We are working in you know e-education, telemedicine. We are providing telemedicine services from the villages. Uh, and uh, we are, you know, providing e-learning materials for the students and for the teachers. And communication, obviously, we are providing this communication means for the for the villagers. And e-commerce is one of the you know, part that we are doing. And uh, when we do this, what we do is we work with the different organizations that are providing, uh, you know, this kind of services or that are interested to work with us to provide the services. Uh, this kind of services like e-commerce services, e-learning services, you know, uh, e-health services uh, for the villagers. So we have linked with the, you know, we have partners, many partners working with us uh, to provide different kind of services. So this I would like to concentrate more on, you know, uh, e-business things we are doing. It's not a, you know, fantastic thing so <laughs> that we are doing, but it's very, everything is simple. The first thing we start after we build the wireless network, we, you know, develop this application with the help of some college students. We call it Hard Bazaar. You know, in the Hard Bazaar, people can, this is very simple. In the Hard Bazaar, people can post you know, about the products they have to sell. Usually in the mountain, there is not many products they can sell, but you know, whatever they have, they can put the pictures, you know, with this information about the products they have, you know, the name of the owner who owns it the name of the village is where it is available and uh, how much it costs, you know, uh, with the pictures also. It's very simple. You know, we have taught villages how to do that. So, why? I mean, how it is helping to the villages? It's a different story. What we found is in the villages, where there is no road, if you want to buy, for example, a buffalo. So what people do is people who have to walk, first they have to find in their, in their own village. If they don't find the buffalo in their own village, they have to walk a few hours to the next place. And uh, you know, walk around the village, meet, ask every person they meet, ask them, if you know, you know anybody has buffalo to sell? And so, so if they don't find the buffalo in that village, then they have to, again, walk to the next village a few hours, you know, maybe a day. So that way, what we have seen is sometimes they have to spend, you know, three, four days a week, you know, just to find a couple and that's a waste of time. So in order to, you know, help them to find the products, you know, they are looking for what we come up with this idea and develop this. And uh, now, if people have something to sell, they can put it in the website like this. And uh, if people want to buy something, they can go to the website and look for the things they want, they want to buy. If they want if they find the thing that they want to buy in the website, then they can go straight to that village and to the to that person and negotiate for the price and bring it. That saves at least two, three days of time for them. We have been then, um, we are thinking about you know, finding ways to help them pay actually. Then I um, mean the, the the buyers uh, finding ways to pay the uh, pay for those. Uh, uh, things, but uh, right now, uh, no, there is no like much uh, services like you know, e -mo e banking or mobile banking or mobile money transfer system in Nepal. Once we get that thing, then what we can do is we can also you know, help them to pay in the you know, mobile system. Uh, this is one idea we have been doing. And uh, second thing we are using this, you know, uh, wireless network is for, you know, uh, hotel booking. We have the community in that region have developed this trekking trail for the tourists. This is uh, this area is in you know is a, a famous for trekking also for the tourists. So the community have developed community lodges in different villages and different area. This is like depending on the time of the tourists, you know, some uh, like five days trekking, six days trekking, or eight days trekking. 10 days trekking. So, in those areas, there are, you know, lodges. We have built tourist facilities for the tourists. 
like the lodges and dining hall like this, these are the lodges in different villages. And homestay also, we have uh, you know, arranged homestay arrangement for the villages. And every you know, village in the region, including this, you know, and these tourist facilities have wireless connection. So, what we are asking the you know, travel companies who bring tourists or any, anybody who want to come and stay in the lodges in the, in the community, so they can go uh, to the website and book the hotel they want to stay. The no lodge is not a big hotel like this, but this is just a common, simple lodge. Uh, they can go there and book online. Uh, this is what uh, we are doing. And uh, the reason is because, you know, sometimes uh, uh, what we get, we get more tourists than the, our capacity. Mostly we have like, we can accommodate uh, 15 to 30 tourists a day in each village. So if we get more tourists than the number of, you know, um, uh, than that number, then it is difficult to accommodate them. So we always ask the you know, travel companies to inform us either by email or you know book, go there and book uh, the you know the hotels uh, and the number of the number of tourists and the day they are arriving. That's what we are doing. And this is an example of how this one of the company uh, we get this list uh, frequently and uh, list uh, one of the company uh, who book the you know. The, the lodges in different places and uh, this is the uh, schedule of this, uh, this is urban, this urban. So another thing we are using this wireless network is uh, to provide a ATM service uh, for the tourists. This is a remote area, there is no bank there, you know, there is no way, you know, the banks are going to go there and they set up you know, an ATM machine for the tourists. So, what we uh, working with one of this you know, company uh, called Tamil Dramit, uh, we come up with this idea to provide virtual ATM machine for the tourists. So what tourists can do is if they need money or if they need to pay for the for the lodge or for the hotel, uh, they can you know use their credit card. What they can do is go to the website and uh, this this uh, you know. The account is given to each village there, each village and each uh, lodge. So the lodge or the village uh, can use their username and password and then go, go into the website. Then the tourists can put information about the credit card in that, uh, in that form. There is a form there and submit it. Once it is, you know, processed, then, you know, that we can give money, cash to the tourists and uh, also the tourists can pay uh, for the, you know, um, for the, uh, for the hotel. So, uh, and we also charge like a 5 to 8 percent commission fee for uh, using this uh, service. So that way, I mean, it is also bringing some extra income uh, for the villagers. It's secure, I mean, it's totally secure because this company is based in America. So, uh, uh, so it's not, uh, and people sometimes people ask how secure it is, and we say it's very secure. Uh, and and uh, this, this, once this is processed, then the company will deposit that money directly to the bank account of this, you know, village or the, the laws. Uh, so that's how we are doing it, and it's uh, very simple. Uh, and uh, uh, we're trying our best to use. Uh, this, uh, you know, well, we are also working on, you know, bringing remittance services in the, in the, in the rural areas. Uh, we are in the process of, you know, getting permission uh, from the government to get that uh, service uh, in the rural areas. Thank you very much. Yes, it is it's like that, you know, they credit card and pay for the bill. 
that money actually is uh, deposited to this uh, Tamil remit, to the account of Tamil remit, and then Tamil remit sends uh, that money to the bank account of, you know, automatically sends to the bank account of this uh, uh, village or the lots. So the actual crossing is done in America? Uh, yeah, because there is no way, you know, uh, we can, you know, we start, you know, this remittance, I mean, this money transfer services is, uh, is, is very difficult uh, for uh, small villages like ours. So we have to get from some company who are doing this, you know, providing this service, you know, credit card transaction services. Uh, so that's how we are working with this company. So, uh, from your website, you are uh, transferring the information to their website? Or you yeah, yeah, it is linked to their website. It's not the website that we have created by ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> For the product, who is amending the data? Yeah, there are you know, communication centers in each village. And now several villages have learned how to do it because there is, we need one you know, camera, a digital camera. And there is a one digital camera available in each village. So whoever wants to put the information, about the products, they can just borrow the digital camera and take pictures and put it in there. And there are people who are trying to do that. A weekly or a uh, no, whenever uh, it's not weekly, whenever they have something to sell, they put it and uh, do that. About the same e product that you are doing, I've seen that your matter text is in the local language. But are people able to read and what is the literacy level? Uh, yeah, the literacy level is quite quite good in this region. At least people have you know, primary education or middle school education in that area. Yeah. Once the transaction is completed, the item will be removed. Removed from yeah, this one uh, in the local local e-commerce. Eh? Yeah. I mean, it will stay there. I mean, uh, sometimes, but then they can you know manually remove it after it is, uh, you know, that, that item is sold. Who is managing all that website? This website? Uh, we, this, uh, we have this, uh, you know, uh, small company called Impalo Wireless. Uh, we are managing it. But, uh, you know, removing, you know, putting and removing these items in the website, you know, the, the local villagers, you know, have access to it. We have created account for them and uh, they can put it and also they can remove it by themselves. And the payment is cash transaction when they go there? Yeah, it's cash transaction, that's what I said. And the only thing this is helping, the only way this is helping is, you know, uh, you know saving the time of the villagers. You know? Searching, searching. Instead of searching physically, they... Yeah, yeah, instead of searching physically, physically by going from village to village, now they can go straight to that person, you know, you know by going from village to village, now they can go straight to that person, you know, and, and, and buy it. And, uh, and in future, I mean, what we can do is, once we get this, you know, mobile uh, transaction services, you know, we can, you know, also use that service uh, to, to pay for the, for the items. No, but even then, if there is no bank, it is not possible. They have have a banking correspondent connected to the bank. Now, at least any villagers need to have bank account in the city. So. I think we are uh, getting to slightly trickier issues because if the application, as he says, is more on the front end, where he is kind of providing a platform where the uh, bookings can be done for the hotels and the thing, and the rest, the transaction part that is dealt by the banks, and I think at the level at which these people are operating, it will be very difficult for them to have a transaction system themselves. But a uh, very good effort. In fact, uh, what I see is that in your system you have integrated so many things <coughs> that are attached to the uh, basic rural uh, life and where people find it very difficult to reach uh, uh, the interior areas and uh, as you said, the money transactions and the... And a very good thing, getting reached to the markets, which is very difficult right now when they have to sell uh, cattle. They, the reach that they get is very limited and if you are able to expand that reach to a large number of villages then probably they can get a better price and the person who is looking for kettle can get a good kettle. 
So uh, it's serving the purpose of both the uh, supplier as well as the buyer. So very interesting and in fact I congratulate you on that. One thing I would like to know, how many villages have you been able to link in this and how many people have you been able to connect? Uh, we started you know, this wireless network by connecting one village uh, uh, to the city, to, I mean to the internet because there are no internet service provider and like I said, mobile coverage is also not there um, in 2001. So slowly we are expanding the network. In the last eight years we have expanded this network from this district to 13 other districts. And now there are over 130 villages and many users connected to this network. Very good. And how many farmers? How many people are, people are using this? Uh, I mean, the demographic wise, there are about 60 70,000 people in this uh, area. Because the uh, villages are not big villages, and there yes. are small villages, the population average like uh, from 200, 300 to 600, 700. You know, all these areas, very remote areas. Great. So we wish you all the best, and uh, may you have more and more number of villages and more and more, more, and more number of users on your website. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much.